Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jay Brown. I'm back with another video. This is, I want to say day 12 of Vlogmas. And so as you can see behind me, I have a little bit of my holiday decor up. And I finally, 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 a whole week later, actually got around to decorating my house. So um, I'm just going to grab my wine and then I'm just going to show you just a few things um, plus my tree, okay? Um, it's been a cold and rainy, oh my gosh, there we go, the, the glare of my glasses. It's been a cold and rainy um, day all day today. Today is Sunday. Um, I have a pot roast cooking. I have baked potatoes in the oven. I'm going to make some rice really quickly for my kids who don't eat baked potatoes, but they eat french fries. Maybe even mashed potatoes. I don't know. These kids. Um... I end up doing laundry. So just typical Sunday for me. I got my hoodie on because I'm nice and cozy and I'm chilling. So let's go ahead and get into um, this wine and then the decor. Okay, you guys, I got my wine. I just poured that. And then here's my pot roast. Have you guys ever tried that Mississippi pot roast recipe? I saw it on um, Facebook and YouTube for years and I never tried it. Here's my roast straw. I've had it cooking for about five hours now. It has one more hour to go and I am ready to eat. But that recipe is so good. It just calls for like one packet of ranch seasoning, one packet of au jus mix, A-U, um, J-U-S uh, mix, and um, some pepperoncinis. And you can even do a little bit of the uh, pepperoncini juice and an entire stick of butter. So of course, this is a very rich and highly fattening um, meal. I really can't eat much of it because it just, my stomach now does not really agree with much red meat, but my husband and kids love it and it is so good. And then I also add, um, for just my own sake, because I'm extra, I also add um, garlic powder and onion powder to the meat before cooking it. So that is what we are having for this Sunday dinner. Here is my wine, my dining room slash, I guess formal living room. These are couches that no one ever sits on. They are a very light beige color and my children know they better not touch them. So um, this is the coffee table that we have had for years. I mean, years and years and years. And um, this for this season, I just decided to put my plants on the table instead of the dining room table. And then I've put those um, cute snowflakes that I found at Hobby Lobby here with the little joy figure and that is the lantern from at home that I have not put batteries in yet and then I moved one of my brand new candles in the candle holder um, I moved that to the coffee table and I believe the scent on this candle is pink apple punch the dining room table so this is how I set it up this is that Merry Christmas um, that I found at Hobby Lobby and I just accented it with some um, ornaments some leftover ornaments from the tree and then that is one of my candle holders that I received for my birthday along with the candle for my birthday that one is cactus blossom and the outside of it is just a nice like fuchsia color and then these tall gold trees I've actually had those for a few years now um, all of these trees were purchased from Hobby Lobby just in different years. And then um, this candle here, you guys, this is a major, major, major throwback because I don't even think this company's in business anymore. This is a Gold Canyon candle in the scent um, Cherry Fizz. I had a good friend and coworker who used to sell those. And um, yeah, that's the last one that I have. She had warned us when they were um, discontinuing it, and so I stocked up. So that is my decor for my um, dining room table. We have our Christmas stockings sitting here. They are embroidered with our names. Of course, it's flipped over for um, privacy purposes, and I'm going to try to actually hang them on the mantle this year. I usually don't. I usually hang them on the stair banister, but I kind of want a more traditional look, so I need to get some command hooks or strips or whatever. If you guys have any suggestions for how to hang the um, fire stockings by the fireplace, please uh, leave them in the comments below. So right here in my hallway, I just have um, a Merry Christmas 
um, hanging. I don't know what you call it, but it's like a piece of decorated burlap. And it is so cute. You guys disregard that hot mess that is my office um, between me and the kids working and doing school in there. It is just a wreck a good chunk of the time. But I love that. And next here in the hallway, here is how I used that, that red glass jar. I have a large um, white candle in it. I'll probably not light it just because I have kids running around. And this area is kind of far away from where I can supervise them. But I need to get like some greenery to put in here to kind of fill in that gap. But it'll do for now. This is just a red joy sign that I think came from it either came from at home last year or Hobby Lobby and then sometimes you have to get creative with your, your decor you guys so these are actually empty gift boxes that I picked up a couple years ago and honestly I just use them for decor so you know easy affordable they were probably no more than what two or three dollars each if you catch them on sale and then this is a red lantern um, that I picked up from Kroger actually a couple years ago, battery operated. And I also have a white one that kind of has that rustic look to it too. You see how it has like that kind of treated um, paint on there. Like they just kind of make it like old and antique-ish. Come out and show you guys a full view. So that is what the entryway is looking like. And then next, you guys, here is my Christmas tree. She turned out so pretty. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I just really have been wanting to do a pink tree for a few years now. So um, I just went for it this year. And I actually planned far enough in advance to execute. Now, I put flowers in the tree. Y'all, I was too hype when I started doing that last night. I was calling it Moody Blooms. It is giving me the fall in bloom vibe from um, Bath and Body Works. But I just had to do it. I'm enjoying these clear um, bulbs on there. The mix of all the flowers together. It is just so gorgeous. Now, these flowers are actually left over from my birthday decor. And really, you guys, I did not do anything special. What I really did was just yank them out of my leftover centerpieces. Because, um, of course, these are full flowers. Here's some of the like, star um, ornaments that we have. But I just yanked them out of the centerpieces and tucked them into the tree, to be honest. And I think that that is so gorgeous. Look at this deep um, plum one. That is just... Look at that, that is beautiful, you guys. So, I am just loving it. I was so pleased with myself last night, too excited. This is one of those um, deep fuchsia um, glittery ornaments. And everything just came together so well. So I am super happy. This tree is super girly, super pink, super feminine, and I love it. Um, you know, I live, in a house full of guys so yeah sometimes you gotta just kick that pink and feminine girly thing into overdrive and it just came out so pretty look at this mauve rose like you cannot tell me that's not gorgeous look at that you guys oh my gosh i just cannot the tree let me back up and try to give you guys another full view of the tree so you guys can see the top too so that's the top all the way down to the bottom. I think this is one of the biggest trees that we've purchased. Um, this is a real live tree. And um, I think it's about eight foot tall. Okay, you guys, this is the last piece of decor I'm gonna share with you all this evening. This is my mantle and it is so pretty. Let me back up so you guys can see the whole thing. Um, this uh, garland, I think I got that from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And it's actually two um, twisted up together. I'm sorry the lighting is kind of bad in here, but I kind of wanted to keep it dim so you guys can see the lights too. Um, but those are two pieces of garland twisted together. And then those lights that are interwoven into it, it's from a lighting pack that I actually got from QVC. And I don't even remember the brand, but Here's the pack 
and it has a timer you can um, turn it on and off and it's like it's super helpful like and the batteries last a long time like we've used it for a few Christmases now without having to change out the batteries these um, lights I want to say I ordered them not the lights I'm sorry the candles the candle I want to say I ordered those from Amazon because I think I saw those um, those gosh I can't remember the name of it but from QVC those wax candles that they show every single year um, and they're just like super overpriced but they have that cute little dancing flame yeah it's cute but I'm not paying those prices so I ordered these from Amazon and these light up you can have them lit with just the candle itself or you can have the um, the gold thread wrapped around it lit as well and then the white figures um, those came from at home all three of these trees came from Hobby Lobby and then the clear um, candlestick holders those actually came from Ross and I think they were like maybe eight dollars each and then this um, painting I have or piece of art I have here is also from Hobby Lobby so that is my mantle this year I will probably hang my stockings just below kind of right there on that brown tile and that is all of my decor for um, Christmas 22 I love it it is so pretty and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one happy vlogmas y'all